just take you through a few areas of my home and show you how I organize them. Um, and like I say in a lot of my videos, pretty much everything I buy comes from the dollar store or is thrifted. And you do not have to spend a lot of money to organize. In fact, I think that organization is better and more effective when you don't spend a lot of money on it. Why? Because then you can spend money on the important stuff like what you're trying to organize. Does that make any sense? So if you spent $18 on a basket somewhere, then you could have used 17 of those dollars if you went to the dollar store for whatever you're going to put inside the basket. See, that makes sense in my warped mind. Anyway, I'm going to take you around. I'm going to show you some of the places I've organized on an extreme budget. You can tell me what you think. So, I actually have a before picture, so I'm going to show you what this bathroom closet looked like before I started organizing. Check it out. Yeah, not looking so hot. So, let me show you what I've done to organize it. This is what I did. Um, I went to the dollar store to complete this project. And I spent a total, yes, a whopping of $12 on this entire makeover. So up here, I maximized um, height. Anytime you have height and that sort of thing, you want to take it all the way to the ceiling to maximize your space. Um, and I went through and I labeled each bin. So this is mine, and this is my husband's. And these are not fancy, extensive labels. This is just a piece of like thicker cardstock paper that I um, actually use that packaging tape to make it laminated. And you guys, seriously, packaging tape, you know this kind you buy at the post office to like put the boxes together? It works like a laminating machine. So I do that on practically everything I want to laminate. It has to be like thin though, it can't be like a big thing. Um, so anyway, I went through and I like laminated it, quote unquote, and then I just tied um, each of those things onto the bins. So I'll start with this one. It's my shower. You guys can see how deep, um, and there's some extra shampoo back there, how deep this is. It's like 17 inches deep. So this maximizes my space. Those are all my shower things, shampoos, conditioners, body wash, etc. cetera. Um, and here I have my toothbrushes and flosses. And in this, I keep my toothpaste. I love couponing also um, because you save a lot of money that way. So this allows me to have a place to put those things. Face wash, deodorant, shower for my husband. And let me just say, I don't know if you are married or have a boyfriend or what, or maybe you're a guy and you're watching this video and your wife is messy. Um, Seriously, my husband does not put stuff away unless he's, like, given a specific designated spot and he knows. Because literally, if this was just, like, organized and not labeled, he would just be like, oh, let me just put it in a bin and it will be fine. No. So I labeled it so he actually knows where to put stuff. And honestly, it works. You should try it. And these are our bedside tables. My one requirement for the bedside table was it needed to have plenty of storage and I didn't want things kind of cluttering up the top of it because since we fold laundry in here we get tons of lint everywhere. So clock, lamp, and possibly reading material of the moment. But what I love about these bedside tables, they're from Bed Bath & Beyond by the way with my coupon I think they're around $50 each. Um, there's plenty of drawer space, and I went to the Dollar Tree, and I bought three bins for $1. So you kind of get three like bins, and I bought two different sets, so my husband has some in his table. But I use them to keep glasses, extra things, pens, pencils, books, marks, etc. So everything is nice and organized in here, so I know where things are. But over here, I have created bins to kind of corral all the things that go on here. And I got these bins at the Goodwill for one buck. So I can just pull on them and I can see all my different purses. And quite frankly, a lot of these purses even came from the Goodwill. I love the Goodwill purses. They literally have the best purses at the Goodwill. Um, I have my like dress purses and bags in here. And then I also got this one. There were two of these at the dollar or um, at the Goodwill, and I got one for a dollar and the other for a dollar. So two dollars total. Wow, that's a complicated way to explain that. Um, but anyway, I have all my bathing suits in here, and I can kind of see like what color it is, and you know, pick out the one that I want. 
This is how I've used the back end of my closet for lots of extra storage. So as you can see here on the back of my door, and this is standard. I mean, you guys, this is not like rocket science. I found this when I was actually in college, which was, I'm not going to say how long ago, but it was a while ago. Um, and I uh, just clipped it kind of like this. I kind of hang over the door. Um, and then the door can still close, but on the back, that way I don't lose all of this space of storage. I've got all of my scarves up here. Um, I've got all my belts and that sort of thing, some extra scarves, some hats, etc. And then on this wall, because all of my clothes were stored over here, um, I decided to put these hooks on. This is just a... Um, white piece of wood with some hooks attached to it and this was from Lowe's of again very inexpensive and I just have hung um, some extra purses on here and these are the bigger purses that won't fit inside my bins on this side so I have just maximized space and then down here because this was dead space I just took um one of these storage bins and I have had this for years and I just stuck it in my closet but you can find this at Target I believe um, but they also do have um, cheaper ones at Walmart and then over here on this wall I have this giant tower which has yet to be filled but I'm sure I'll find a way to fill it with shoes and that sort of thing and then I found this basket at the Goodwill for um, just a couple of bucks and I think it was like $4.99 or something like that and then I can just take it down when I need and I can take out shoes and my ultimate goal is actually to get another one of these hooks and put it over here on this wall so I can um, hang more scarves and that sort of thing because I'm kind of becoming like a really huge fan of scarves. I don't know why. So anyway, that's how to maximize storage in your closet. So I want to give you guys a peek inside our kitchen cabinets. This is where we keep extra snacks, etc. Um, and I love these. These are from Target. They were $2.50 a piece, so $5 for the set. But to be able to stick them inside the cabinets gives us so much more space and keeps everything really organized. So I usually keep like little snacks and things that tend to just, I don't know, get all over the place, kind of corralled in here. And then it kind of doubles our space because these items are so small. So if I coupon and I get, you know, extra things, like I think I paid like 75 cents for this maybe. Um, I can keep them here and everything is sort of all in one spot. Um, I also have like this little glass where I keep extra rubber bands from things so we never have to get rubber bands. Um, and then all of our other snacks can sort of neatly fit on this side. So if you happen to stop by Target, check like the dollar bin when you first walk in the store, $2.50. I also picked up these from Target for $2.50, and I just recently got them, hence the tags are still on there. Um, but I do actually want to label these in a similar fashion, which is why I kept them on there. But the really great thing about this is, um, this is what we use to keep our dog treats and dog food in. You can just take out the basket, pull it down, and find everything that you need inside the bin. So no longer you know, having to search and sort of dig around up here and not be able to reach it. So um, that's been a real lifesaver. Okay, so if you've watched my home decoration video, you've probably already seen this, but I wanted to go into it more in depth. This is in our guest bathroom, and this is actually where I get ready in the morning because there's more space and I don't bug my husband in our teeny tiny master. But I picked up these from the dollar store to organize um, cotton balls, ear swabs, and makeup applicators. And I think they look really pretty clear like this because, I don't know, I think the white is just like very fresh and bathroomy. So then I can hide the clutter in this cabinet. And yet again, I've gone to the dollar store and picked up organizing bins. So here, for example, I have all of my hair ties. Um, this is in the school supply section. And I think it's used for like those little clippy doos. Um, anyway, picked up these. And then um, bobby pins go in here. And um, I've got a few more of them in the back for brushes. This is an old canister that was used for something else and the top had kind of rusted a little. Um, so I'm just using it to keep my makeups and stuff. And you know, you guys know if you buy like any decent makeups, um, especially from Estee, Estee Lauder or Clinique, they'll give you these free bags. And I've just kind of lined them up and I use the bags for storage. So, you know, free stuff. I don't have to purchase anything. Um, you know, these are for all my lip glosses and that sort of thing, lipsticks, um, an extra bag. This was actually a gift. Um, these are more eyeshadows that I use less frequently and extra mascaras for my couponing. So I kind of set those up like this and then they're always accessible in this drawer.